Welcome to another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Look who's back in my kitchen. Hey. It's Emma. <laughs> uh, if you didn't see our latest video, this is Emma from Zimt Chocolates. Um, tell us about Zimt. Okay. Zimt is my chocolate company. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It's really good chocolate. <laughs> We're going to use it today. Yeah. We're gonna what are we making? Today. We're making yeah. chocolate, coconut, cheesecakes. Yeah. Yay. I'm so excited. I love cheesecake. <laughs> I love She's it. She's very excited. I love it. I'm so excited. I love cheesecake. And I'm usually like way too lazy to make it. Oh, well, here we go. We're yeah, making it today. We're making it today. Face uh, your fears. That's true. Yeah. It's true. Face your lead. <laughs> I apologize for my voice. I lost it a few days ago and now it's just starting to come back. So I've got a little bit of a different voice today, but that's I'll okay. let Emma do most of the talking. Okay. Well, if that's all right. Don't worry. You sound fine. <laughs> You sound fine. You sound like you sound like a jazz singer. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's get started. Chocolate coconut cheesecakes. Yes. The ingredients you need are one cup packed pitted dates, which you can soak in hot water if they're too dry. One and a half cups rolled oats three tablespoons unsweetened cocoa or cacao powder, a pinch of Himalayan salt, one and a half cups of coconut butter, a scant quarter cup of a lemon juiced, a quarter cup melted coconut oil, one cup of coconut or almond milk, one and a half to one and two thirds cup zimped dark chocolate, a quarter cup maple syrup or coconut nectar. Okay, so tell us about coconut butter. Do you make it? Do you buy it? Okay, so actually, yes, we do make coconut butter at the chocolate factory. Ooh. Yes, in like enormous quantities, not like what we're using today. Today <laughs> is like a, like a very safe at-home use quantity. Um, coconut butter is basically you know coconut flakes, just like mm -hmm. shredded coconut? It's basically that, but it's refined, as in like nothing's taken out of it. It's just in a machine for hours churning mm -hmm. it so it becomes a nut butter. Okay. You can't really, like I know there's recipes to make your own coconut butter at home. Even if you have a high speed blender, I've tried it. It's still like, it's still a little grainy. Okay. It's like a little bit grainy, but this is, this is like made in a factory stuff. Mm -hmm. You can buy it. You can buy it at like health food stores. Okay. You can buy it on Amazon if you so desired. You can you can buy it in a lot of places. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you can't get your hands on coconut butter, mm -hmm. is there an alternative? Yes, you can use cashews. Use oh, some okay. soaked cashews. Um, I mean, if you have a nut allergy, you definitely no, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> but stick with the coconut yeah, butter. Yeah, stick with the coconut <laughs> butter. Um, but yeah, cashews are your next best bet if you okay. can't get coconut butter and you don't have a cashew allergy. Okay, let's get started.
thanks so much for watching. Face your fears, make some cheesecakes. They're obviously not that difficult to make. You can do it. They're really delicious. We hope you get to experience them soon. Awesome, thanks for coming again today. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's not often that I get invited back. Today, <laughs> so this is really special. A friend indeed. Yeah, it's a yeah. friend in need. Nope, it's the other way around. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't get invited back, I attract people. <laughs> Enjoy your cheesecake and cheers to living free.